Hey guys and welcome back to another video. So in today's look I'm going to share with you tips and tricks on how to get a really lifted smoky eye for people who have downturned or hooded eyes. So if you're interested in how I got from the left to the right then just stay watching. Alrighty, first things first, I'm going to go in with the transition shade. This shade is from my Morphe 350 palette. It's a couple shades darker than her skin tone, so it's a perfect transition shade. I'm going in with a super fluffy brush. This one is the 221 from Zueva. I'm making sure to go at an upward angle from the corner of her eye to the tail of her brow, just lightly building up that shade. Next, I'm going to take a slightly deeper brown shade. This is from the same palette. Using the same brush, I'm building up the crease just to give a bit more definition in the crease and I'm making sure not to get it on the lid. I'm keeping it just in the crease area. Another tip you want to remember is not to bring it all the way to the corner of your eye, especially if you have quite downturned eyes. You want to just bring it slightly before the corner of your eye, so before where your lashes end, like cheating your eye shape and bringing it um, slightly before so you're imitating a lifted eye effect. Then I take a darker shade as you can see and I just place that in the same area in the outer V and bring it through the crease. Again I cheated the eye shape so I didn't bring it all the way to the corner of her eye. I brought it a little bit before to imitate that eye lift. Then I go back in with a fluffy brush and just kind of blend out any harsh lines that may be there. Next I'm taking a brown eye coal. This is the espresso shade from Makeup Geek and I'm just drawing a little line very close to her lash line from her outer corner and then bring it about to the center of her eye so I'm just doing it two-thirds of the way across not closing off the eye like by bringing it all the way in if that makes sense then I'm smoking out with a deep brown shade again from the same Morphe 350 palette using a pencil brush I just wanted to smoke that liner out so it's really soft and smoky rather than quite harsh to open up the eyes, I'm going in with Shimmer Shimmer from Makeup Geek, this gorgeous champagne shade, and I'm placing that with a precise shader brush from Zueva on her inner third of her eye and also bringing it to the tear duct area too. Next, I'm taking this gorgeous, like, rosy, like, um, what would you call it? Like a rosy tone gold, like a rosy gold shade, like rose gold, <laughs> and I'm placing that on the center of her lid with the same precise shader brush. And I'm blending Shimmer Shimmer into that rose gold shade. Then to highlight her brow bone, I'm going in with White Lies. Just a matte white shade from Makeup Geek on the highest point of her brow to lift the eyes. Then I'll just go back in with that really fluffy brush from the beginning and just blend out any like edges or harsh lines just so the white blends into the brown. For mascara, I'm taking this volume mascara and I'm coating her lashes nice and dark for falsies. And for false lashes today, I find these perfect like for downturned eyes just because they just really give a soft lift there's nothing too heavy on the lid they're not going to cover up too much lid space so if you do have hooded eyes they're also perfect just give a nice soft subtle lift a little tip you guys want to remember when applying false lashes to hooded or downturned eyes is that you want them to sit on an upward angle rather than sitting just directly out straight if that makes sense so as you stick them on push them upwards so they sit up and they lift the eyes. Another tip to open up the eyes is a placing a nude coal into the waterline. However, however, do not place it on the outer portion of your eye. I place it in the inner third. Then I go in with this brown eye coal again and place it on the outer third of her waterline just to kind of create that imitate, imitate a little almond shaped eye. So it's going to kind of cheat the shape of the eye again. If you place a white or a nude eye coal in the whole bottom waterline, you're going to emphasize the downturned shape of the eye. So creating a dark liner on the outer corner is going to kind of close it off and lift it up a little bit, if that makes sense. Then I just go in and smoke it out with some of this deep brown shade and I'll go in with a pencil brush and those three browns and just smoke out that deep brown even more just so it's nice and smoky and there's no harsh lines. For bottom lash mascara I'm taking my Maybelline Colossal Mascara and giving a nice soft coat to her bottom lashes. You don't want to put too much bottom lash mascara on your um, on your eyes if you do have downturned slash hooded eyes just because 
And again, it'll emphasize the downturned shape of them. It'll close them off. So this, guys, concludes my tips and tricks for downturned slash hooded eyes. I really hope you found this video helpful. If you have any tips of your own, make sure to leave them down in the comment section below. Don't forget to leave a big thumbs up if you did enjoy this video. I love you all so much, and I'll see you very, very soon. Bye, guys.